Hi, my name is Steve Nabry. We're here today in Barcelona to look at our central listing, a very, very nice Grand Soleil 52 Long Cruise. She's recently been repainted and the owner has instructed her captain to really go through the boat and make sure she's ready for her next owners. And when we go down below, I think you will be really very impressed with the condition of the yacht. Uh, she's very easy to handle. You can see she has in mass furling. Um, and I think she's a really, really good opportunity for a new owner. So here we are in the Grand Soleil cockpit. Um, there's really a lot to like. Um, you have very easy access from the passerelle. You have a large folding transom. So you've got a great uh, beach and bathing platform area. Um, you've got very easy access into the dinghy garage, which of course can also be accessed from above. Um, starting to think about the sailing of the boat, you've got everything close at hand. All of the winches are powered. Um, you've got instrumentation repeated to both helms. Um, you've got a nice seating area, um, very comfortable and relaxed at autopilot. Also, I can imagine sitting out is going to be really very comfortable. You've got good visibility going forward. Um, I think it's a very safe looking cockpit in terms of having children and guests on board. All of the sheets and halyards come back um, just uh, ahead of the helms. So you've got a really good sized open area for the cockpit. Good handholds moving forward. Um, generous seating both sides. So both at sea, when relaxing, um, it's going to be a very good, spacious and safe cockpit. We're now on deck and there's one or two other points I'd like to make you can really see the benefit of having an arch. You've got great support for the spray hood. Um, you can see new clears. This actually is original. Um, so for four years old, it's looking in good shape. The bimini has been replaced and has a very neat arrangement um, in terms of connecting to the arch. So you have really got full, full sun protection, um, but you've got quite a nice robust arrangement yet it's still got a little bit of flex in it. The captain is very happy with how that has performed um, in strong winds. Obviously, you've got the main sheet coming back to the arch, so you've got a really good um, sheeting point so you can get um, a good shape to the mainsail. And of course, it keeps the mainsail out of the cockpit. Um, the boat has got in mass furling, but she has very nice north 3DI sails. Um, the mainsail has vertical battens, so you've got a good sail shape. Yeah, really, really easy to handle. Quite a few parts of the standing rigging have been replaced. Um, most of the running rigging has been replaced. You've then got a very nice sunbathing area um, with a bimini. You can also see, and you're going to see this when we go down below, there's a window here. There are two glass panels up by the companionway and two big hatches um, above the saloon area. So she's really light and airy down below. Back just to finish on deck. Obviously, you, you have a furling genoa. Um, you have a generous anchor locker um, with 100 meters of chain. The benefit of a bowsprit obviously um, enables you to fly light weather sails much more easily and allows the anchor to be well away from the bow um, so there's no danger of chipping the gel coat. It's a really well set up cruising boat. I think it's worth emphasising with the Grand Soleil uh, 
that to my mind she she really does feel that little cut above the other production boats that, that occupy a very similar space you look at the woodwork you look at some of the finishings and detailing it, it really is very very nice um, I find that this woodwork I suppose personally I'm not mad on light coloured woods but this it, it works really well. There's a little bit of texture to the grain and you get that feeling of quality. Similarly with the floors, they, they, they don't look like the standard um, production boat floors. There's a bit more detailing to them. Um, they're in very good condition. They have been refurbished. Um, and it just gives that little bit of ple extra pleasure of ownership. That said, she is a really very traditional layout. She has two generous double um, berth uh, cabins aft. Um, she had both of which have their own ensuite bathroom. Um, on the port side, it also um, becomes the day head, but it, you know it's a 52 foot boat. Um, the owner's cabin is forward, which personally I prefer um, with this size of boat, particularly being used in the Mediterranean. You're away from the quay when you're in harbour. Um, it just seems to me that it works better. It's a good size space, has a very generous um, uh, bathroom forward um, with its own separate walk-in shower electric toilets it it's a it's a really good example of a modern well-designed 50 foot sailing boat which is great for a family it's great for a couple who are sailing longer distance you've got plenty of space to invite family and friends it's easy to handle it's a really very nice yacht <laughs>